Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and it's that time of the year where we're just kind of stuck in between the latest Call of Duty and the newest Call of Duty, and we're just kind of sitting, like, sitting dice and be just like, alright, um, you know, Black Ops 3, that's a cool game, right, but we, we want the newer Call of Duty, we want Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty 4, specifically Call of Duty, please, please, I just really want Call of Duty 4. I'm just really excited for the newer Call of Duty to come out, because Black Ops 3, it was a good game, but at least this year, we're getting two brand new Call of Duties, and I'm so excited for Call of Duty 4, because if you haven't noticed, I've been playing a lot more Call of Duty 4, and just showing a lot more gameplay because it's just a really freaking good game and I think that's why so many people are, are excited for Call of Duty 4 is because they're not changing the game they're not changing it's just pretty much a copy and paste and adding a few little features that aren't gonna like change the gameplay at all like adding the the uh, inspect and uh, the inspecting guns and adding more gold camels that doesn't change the game at all so we're expecting a great freaking game that's probably gonna last us the whole entire year and I think that's what makes a good Call of Duty is if not the gameplay per se because video games are fun in general you can have fun even with kind of like a bad video game okay so I hear this analogy a lot bad pizza is still a good pizza because it, it, it's pizza like, like no like I love pizza okay even bad pizza is good to me a bad video game like I let me tell you I played a lot and I mean a lot of bad video games but I still have fun with it because video games are meant to be fun with Infinite Warfare coming out a lot of people are scared are speculating the game and making pre-judgments before they're even getting the game and sure I've only seen gameplay and I'm not making my final judgments but the way that it looks is it's not gonna look like it, it's like every new Call of Duty that's been coming out ever since like ever since like Call of Duty Ghost they've just been changing it up and I'm not saying you shouldn't change up the game but it's just looking like another game that could just be like Advanced Warfare the way that I figure is a good Call of Duty is if I'm able to play it throughout the whole entire year the last Call of Duty I was able to do that for was Black Ops 2 and now, that was a great freaking game, but I think the last Call of Duty that people just, like, as terms of sales and people just ultimately enjoyed was either Modern Warfare 3 or maybe even Black Ops 2, but I think that's what makes a good Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare, it's gonna be fun. Like, I'm not gonna say it's gonna, like, I'm gonna wanna end my life. I'm gonna wanna eat rusty nails while playing Infinite Warfare. I'm not saying that. It's gonna be fun, but for how long? And it's, it's just getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Black Ops 3, for whatever reason, lasted a lot longer than Call of Duty Ghosts or Advanced Warfare, but with Infinite Warfare, I feel like it's just the lifespan is just gonna be so much shorter and rightful. So, like, not a lot of people are making videos, not a lot of people are hyping the game up, and it's probably because it's getting overshadowed by Call of Duty 4. I mean, okay, we already know Meek Mill took the biggest L of 2016, but so many L's, and I mean, so many huge L's are being handed to Infinite Warfare because of all the changes and just the stuff that's being added to the game. I'm not saying it's unnecessary, but like the sniper system where it's only a one-shot kill if it's towards the head. The snipers aren't gonna like that. The new equipment, the new uh, f uh, the new jetpack system, or whatever the movement system. It's just you're not. <laughs> you're hand okay. Infinity Ward is trying to hand us L, but we're handing them L's right back. That's a terrible analogy. But it's just like you're not. Uh, you're, we're not gonna support a game that you're not trying to make for us. That you're not gonna ma have us love. And that's the problem I think is uh, is in Infinite Warfare is that it's not a game for us it's a game for infinity ward call of duty 4 on the other hand like it's a game for us like that's something we're gonna love that's something that's just gonna be a freaking awesome game and i think that's why the community is hyping that game up so much infinite warfare like i said before it's a video game it's gonna be fun for how long though i don't know are you gonna buy the dlc probably like, uh, probably not people are probably gonna buy the dlc unless you include the dlc from call of duty 4 but then even that, that that's just uh i don't know man so i'm hyped for call of duty 4 Infinite Warfare, I don't know if it's going to be a good game. I mean, so many people are counting that game out. So many people are even forgetting about it, and they wish they could just buy Call of Duty 4 separately without having to get Infinite Warfare. And I think it's because it's a game for Infinity Ward, not a game for us. And that's the problem, I think, that Call of Duty has been experiencing for the last couple of years. Black Ops 3, I feel like it's a little exception. I mean, it was, it was a different Call of Duty, but it was a good game nonetheless. Great zombies, great multiplayer campaign, even if you play campaign but the other call of duties i, I don't know I, it's just this might fall under the category on a call of duty ghost and advanced warfare where it's just like yeah you tried something but i i, I didn't really like it i didn't really like it. i'm just saying but call of duty 4 is there so 
we have that. Hopefully that can last the whole entire year because I haven't been able to play Call of Duty the whole entire year religiously ever since Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 2, I love that game. Even Modern Warfare 3. Even Call of Duty Ghost to an extent. Like, that game was fun, but, like, I, it, that pissed me. That game pissed me off sometimes, man. All Call of Duties do. But anyway, I'm just rambling on. I love you guys. Let me know uh, what game you're most excited for. Advanced Warfare. Not Advanced Warfare. Infinite Warfare or Call of Duty 4. I'm going to take a guess that you're excited for Call of Duty 4, but maybe you're excited for both. I mean, obviously, I'm excited for both, but Call of Duty 4, it's, it, it, it might be beating Infinite Warfare. I'm, I'm just saying. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and sorry for the lack of videos. i just been really busy lately. I should get on another uh, better schedule, especially when Call of Duty 4 comes out. I love you guys, and bye.